Hey guys, welcome to Day Zero's Odd Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kid. Black Superman. I'm Brainy. And today we're talking about Our Love is Real and our newest edition of comic books you should be reading. Yeah, Our Love is Real. It's really, really special and really toys with your mind. That it does. Uh, it's, you know, uh, the book is written by Sam Humphreys. He's a very good writer. He's also writing um, Ultimate Avengers yes. at this time. Um, yeah, it's doing really well for him. Um, Our Love is Real is a very interesting uh, book. It, it, it touches upon some very personal subjects. Um, you know, I, I think he did a good job of the approach he took in um, presenting those yeah. subjects. You know, how yeah. it... it 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 makes you think about humanity. It's definitely and, yeah. more challenging than his Avengers works. Now, that, of course, you know, definitely, it, much different. Right. Than and, Avengers you know, works. the major conflict in the in the book is that there's different people with their uh, various forms of love that they all believe is more real and better than everyone else's. Hence the title. Correct. It's <laughs> basically you know questioning other people's uh, beliefs in you know love. Um, you know, hey, I love apples. You love oranges. Let's you know the 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 book starts yeah. off with actually a battle between two different right, uh, yeah. preferences. And while, you know, um, I guess the, 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 that, that, that aspect of it made it a little uncomfortable for me, you know, um, I, I was, and, but in thinking about it in retrospect, thinking about it later, you're like, whoa, you know, mine's kind of blown. But in the beginning when you're doing it, I'm just, I was a little icked out. Yeah, it, it, the book would have that impression on a lot of people. If especially the first time you read it, it, it it's a shocker. Um, again, it's a different approach to what uh, you right. would see in any comic book. Uh, right. There, there have been books that have touched, you know, the limits. This one, I think, is one of the books that does do that. Right. Um, you know, as we mentioned, uh, as we were talking, this this is not something you want your kids to read. No. Um, <laughs> as mentioned, it does. Um, it challenges you. It does challenge you. It challenges your beliefs. It challenges um, everything you have been taught you know and that I think is one of the aspects of the book is it, it makes you question whether what your parents taught you what society taught you um, is actually what you should be believing in I yeah. that are we're reading way too much into this book no you, <laughs> you will come away with something for the real world after reading this book now that may be different after you get on, over the ick factor yes but th there are a couple twists in here that well it, it makes the book make sense like, well, at least to us, it made it. Correct. Made it makes sense. We're not going to tell you because they're spoilers. But, you know, there, there, there are certain things that happen. And you're like, well, that's not that bad. But then that becomes, the, like, the point of the whole wars and all that stuff. You get to see what, you know, Sam is trying to get across. So, personally, um, once I got past the ickiness, yeah, I, I, I think it is a good story for everyone to read once. Kind of like Schindler's <laughs> List. Do it once. Personally, would never do it again, but <laughs> everyone should get it. Should should experience it once. Well, that's it for us, guys. Uh, next week we will be talking about um, Image Comics drums. Yep. Um, and more than likely, we may double up and do AVX consequences as well. If not, we'll make that the following week. Yep. And you'll be hearing more from all three of us on our Krypton Radio broadcast every Thursday at 7 p.m. Follow us. So until then, we've been Kirby Kid, Black Superman, Mr. Brainy. See you later, guys.